I remember getting off the plane first time I ever came to Montana and feeling something different in this land. I've always felt that Missoula is one of those places where uh, energy comes through the crust of the earth and, and rises up into this town, and that's where and there's this kind of sense of creativity comes from. I remember the first Broadway show I ever saw was Bye Bye Birdie with Dick Van Dyke and Cheetah Rivera. I sat in the, I think it was the first balcony, because it was in the front row of something that was above, and I, I knew from that, I think I might have been 11, and I knew at that moment that that's where I wanted to be. I wanted to be where they were. I didn't want to be where I was. I wanted to be where they were. And I just worked from probably the age 11 on to do that. Things were going very well. I was getting work all the time, and I got a call from uh, University of Montana, and they said, they wanted somebody to run the Montana Repertory Theater. The charm of New York was starting to lessen for me, and I said, oh, well, let's, I'll go somewhere else. And I was only coming here for a year, so I came here for a year and fell in love with everything. The university, the town, the fact that I was an artistic director of a theater company, which is where I think everything led to, everything in my career just led to this. And he was this pearl, little pearl of a theater that had great integrity, uh, great potential for growth, and a great potential for me to express myself artistically in an atmosphere of incredible generosity and openness, this community and this university. So for the last 20 years, that's what I've been doing, is exercising my art form. I'd like to see a much more casual approach to you. I mean, because okay. you're, you're, in a way, you're working too hard. You're just coming out. And remember, this is the first time we see you in this whole play. So you're going, listen, Angelo, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go here. Buddy, 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 it's going to be fabulous. And let me tell you something about this guy over here. This guy, and then you go, then you cross to him. Okay. This guy, is, can you believe it? This guy has done this and this. It's, 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 it's more relaxed because the world is your oyster. Nothing is happening. Montana Rep is the professional theater in residence at the University of Montana. That's a big phrase, but that encompasses really what it is. We are part of the training program. So when I'm, when I'm working with these kids on Comedy of Errors, a lot of these kids are going to eventually work for the rep. What we're developing right now is a common vocabulary so that when I work with them in the rep, when I come to do, I don't know, Miracle Worker or whatever play we're going to do in the future, I'll sit in the rehearsal room. They've seen me as a director and as a teacher. So when I say, you know, what's your objective? What do you need? What do you want? We've been in the room together a lot. And so I'm looking at people I really know. <laughs> <laughs> and Calypso music and we dance and we do silly things, but the real funny stuff, I've noticed all the really funny stuff, the real big laughs are Shakespeare's. They're all here. It's humbling. <laughs> For every show there's this group that comes together and they uh, coalesce around some material and it's, it's the camaraderie. And I also find the students who I work with are remarkable. They're remarkable and they're willing to do anything. They're willing to try anything. And they're on time. They generally have done their homework. And there's a work ethic that I find quite striking. As a matter of fact, when kids go to New York and work for people I know, whether it's in a catering business or for a show, everybody, is, the people say to me, send me more. There's just a vitality to the Montana character that I find incredibly compelling. And uh, Fort Peck Summer Theater, or Big Fork, or uh, in Great Falls there's theater, and, and, in, and certainly in, in Missoula there's theater popping. Theaters pop up all the time. It's like mushrooms, theaters pop up. So I've not missed being in New York for a second since I got here. 
You know, we all live on a river in Montana. We go down the river, and if you learn how to go down the river, life immediately gets better. Every little thing is going to be all right. And that's really one of the, if you think about it, that's really what this play is about. Because there's a lot of strum and drum, but everything's going to be all right. And that's what happens in that last scene, like, everything's going to be all right. And in this, in this time of, like, strife in the world, to, to, re, do, to be reminded or to be maybe to suggest that everything is actually going to be all right is a nice message to send. This is a place where people say yes. And I came from a place where people said no. Now, New York City being the place where people say no is challenging and you have to fight every day against the no. No, you can't do this. No, you can't have this audition. No, you can't have that space. No, there, you don't have enough money. And so you get here, and all of a sudden, I say to somebody, I'd like to work, do a play down under the, in Karis Park. And everybody goes, OK. <laughs> I'd like to do a play out, 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 in, uh, out in the, by the river. Somebody goes, somebody goes uh, OK. It's like, no big deal. So that means you just have to do it. You just have to go do it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. But the culture is positive. Cult culture is supportive. I remember going to Broadway shows when I was a kid, and I would hear the overture. It was so thrilling. The hairs on the back of my neck would stand up. That still happens. When the lights dim in a theater, it's going, 